to our channel. This video will be just a review of treadmill. We bought it about six months ago, closer to six months ago. And the reason we didn't do a review right away is just because we wanted to give time to try it and see if we we'll like it or there's cons and pros and at the same time learn how to use it. So let me tell you a little bit about this treadmill. The model of this treadmill is Bowflex BXT116. The running pad measures 20 by 60 inches. On the both sides along the walking belt, it has foot support rails. On both sides, it has coated handrails. It's 55.2 inches in height and 84.6 inches in length. I'm not sure about hardwood floor, but it does stay pretty sturdy on carpet. It has these transport wheels, which is nice. It's easy to move around the house if needed. This is the base, it's made very sturdy. This is a deck lifter. It can lift up to 375 pounds. You can see that it's well made. It has 3.75 horsepower motor. That surge protector is not included. We bought it separately. Here my husband will demonstrate how to put into upright position for easy movement if it's needed. When it's in upright position, it measures 67 inches in height and 52 and a half inches in length. This is how it looks from the bottom when it's in upright position. It stays pretty stable on floor. And here my husband will demonstrate how it lowers itself back into floor position. And it does lower itself automatically, smoothly and quietly. So it won't damage your floor. Let's talk about the console itself. It has a left side and right side storage trays for phones, for water bottles, for keys, for remote control. It does has a lot of storage. There is one on the bottom too for extra bottles or towel or baby monitor if you need. It also includes input and charger media shelf. You can easily connect your tablet or a phone while you're working out. And it has a USB port and MP3. So you can just plug in your tablet. We'll demonstrate that here. And this media shelf is wide enough to hold 10 inch screen tablet. It comes with a seven and a half inch full color screen. On both sides, it has a decent size speakers. And next one is a preset incliner button. It has four active user display. It allows you to save your workout. Same thing on this side, it has a speaker. And just below it, it has a preset speed buttons. These are the contact heart rate sensors. This is the incline control. That's where you press for incline or decline. And on the right side, it has a speed controller. Same thing, you select your speed, you just press up or down. Red one is a pause and stop buttons and green one is a start button. Let's talk about the screen itself. Well, we decided to keep the cover on for now, but you can remove it. It should be removed. As for program buttons, well, it has a lot of features. It has manuals, fat burn, calories burn, calories goal, heart rate, 8 minutes and 16 minutes intervals, strength and custom, you can customize your own. Okay, so let's begin with the start button. When you press start button, that's when the walking belt starts. Just be careful when you're standing on it, just know that it will start to roll. That's the speed display. That's what it shows your speed. And these are the preset buttons. You can preset your own speed. 
and here that's where you increase or decrease your speed you just press up if you need to increase you can see that it's increasing and it does increase up to 12 miles per hour and that's the distance display that's the total calories you burn and you can select whichever one that's the incline display it shows the incline percentage that's the time display it shows how long you've been working out right now i burn only five calories and my incline is 12 percent i'm gonna pause so it stops right away and then to stop completely press second time It will ask you if you want to save, and since I'm a user too, I can select yes or no. This is the emergency keyboard. It's basically for your safety. Keep it on, otherwise it won't work. I will demonstrate that at the end, how it works. Above that, it actually has an automatic three-speed fan, which is pretty cool. And here, I will demonstrate declining from 15% to one. And here I will demonstrate inclining from 1% to 15. And now the fun part is you can connect your tablet or phone to run social app it connects to the treadmill via bluetooth it kind of you need to download it separately the cool part is you can pick and choose where you actually want to run so it gives you options like different states or cities and you can pick and choose from and today my husband decided to pick japan countryside for a run and you can see there on the left side it shows distance and on the right side it shows time for more details about this app, I will leave a link in the description box below. If you're interested, you can take a look and read about it. And the cool thing that you don't stare at the empty road, you actually get to see other people running with you. So the faster you go on the treadmill, it will automatically increase the speed of the app. So basically those people will begin to speed up too. So it will show that the road is kind of going fast. So you can see right here, the people is running a little bit faster. It's because I did increase the speed. Let's talk about what's included. Everything what you see in here, that's extra stuff what been included with the treadmill. Besides the other supplies that was used to assemble it. It comes with a Spanish console description sticker so you can put it on. And it includes heart rate strap. I will show how to use it at the end. And it comes with English, Spanish manuals and starter guide. So that said, let's get a run. I will demonstrate here how it works. Maximum user weight, it's about 375 pounds. So if you think you're overweight, don't worry, you can handle it. Right now I'm increasing the speed up to 6 miles per hour. And at the same time, I will be inclining to 15%. I'll be honest and tell you. The higher it inclines, the harder it is to run. So basically, it's like you're running uphill. And now I will be declining it back to 1%. Walking belt is made out of non-slip rubber. Don't try to run with bare feet, it's gonna hurt. 
always wear shoes. And here I will show you how emergency safety key works. So basically you clip it to yourself anywhere just on the side. Just make sure it stays. And then if something happens and you slip or fall, an emergency key comes out, running belt stops. It made for safety reasons. Now we'll pause and stop. Whew, that was a good run. Let me catch my breath. Okay, so it comes with this belt. This should be a heart rate measuring thing belt. So the way you put it on is basically closer to your heart. Like this. It fits me pretty good. So basically, and then you run. So let me show you closer. Okay, so, so basically the way you put it on has this little adjustment and then clips right here. So and then you keep it like that while you get a run. If you would like to see our assembly video, there's a link to that video in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we will see you in our next videos.